Hey, it's Gabby. I am here in Kirchwana. I just left, I was at my sister's house for two weeks, um, looking after her kids, helping out a little bit um, while she was gone visiting her mom. Mom's a fighter. Um, hopefully only good things are gonna come out of this process. It's not easy, uh, especially for her. She's the hero. We're just supporting characters here, but uh, Holding, a, giving, a, giving our mom a lot of energy. I'm really happy to have had this experience. I feel that, you know, I've always said that once anything in the circle, anything in the home changes, then all of the dynamics change. And when my sister wasn't in the house and I was, then suddenly like I got to know her kids in a way that I never had before. Um, I got to see them in a way I didn't before because they needed me. And, and it was really beautiful. Um, never knew them this way never never cared so much because i was always you know just the aunt and now i'm i'm the mom and and it was beautiful it was really beautiful experience i got to know them better love them more i learned from them learned a few things that i really enjoyed um and i also really enjoyed uh coming home the whole bus ride i didn't uh do actually anything i snoozed a tiny bit but i spent most of the time just looking out the window I really enjoyed looking at Israel kind of anew every time I look at Israel with fresh eyes, I guess, because we keep leaving, so we keep going, to, so nothing becomes, um, <laughs> so nothing becomes understood, nothing becomes, oh, well, that's just, you know, Israel. And I love that we're such a pluralistic society. I love seeing uh, Bedouins, Arabs, you know, Muslims of all kinds, Jews, uh, Orthodox Jews, non-religious people. I love seeing us all together, atheists and so on. And um, interviewed my sister's maid today. Uh, she's Muslim and we had a lot to share about peace. And I think, oh, I thought that was Kobe and the kids. Um, and I, and I love, I love to drive, like in the drive, like for example, I saw a tractor driver with the tractor stopped and he put a little mat and he leaned down on the ground to pray. And I thought, how beautiful is that? Um, or outside of Calmiel, there's some cliffs. And I saw a man sitting there and just looking and I thought, is he gonna jump, you know? <laughs> so I sent him good energy. But just looking and contemplating life and being quiet in nature. And I love this country. Um, when I got on the bus, two men offered to help me with my bags. Like, sweet. Uh, there was a Filipino man with a cell phone trying to figure out what bus to get on. And there was a Russian guy who didn't speak any Hebrew who asked me to help. And it's just so, so much variety here. We have, you know, Ethiopians and, and, and just now we have Thai kids, you know, because we've been a huge influx of Thai employees that have now, you know, had sex or got married to Israelis. So now you have kids that are that are, uh, in Hebrew, we call them slanted-eyed. So we have black Israelis, and we have Muslim Israelis, and we have slanted-eyed Israelis, and we have Russian Israelis, and we have, it's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful board. It's a beautiful pot of so many cultures and so many people from all over the world. And I'm really glad to be here. Yada. <laughs> Bye.